king and queen of hearts were seated on their throne when they arrived with a great crowd assembled to them in the very middle of the court was a table with a large dish of tarts upon it it made alice quite hungry to look at them she began looking at everything about her to pass away the time the time alice had never been in a court of justice before but she had read about them in books and she was quite pleased to find that she knew the name of nearly everything there the judge was the king the first witness was the hatter he came in with a teacup in one hand and a piece of bread and butter in the other the hatter looked at the march hare who had followed him into the court arm in arm with the dormouse the king told the jury to write down all three dates on their slates and then added them up and reduced the answers to shillings and pence alice felt a very curious sensation which puzzled her a good deal until she made out that it was she was beginning to grow larger again and she thought at first that she would get up and leave the court but on the second thought she decided to remain where she was as long as there was room for her the next witness was the duchess cook she carried the paper box in her hand and alice guessed who it was even before she got into the court the king asked the cook what are tarts made of the cook said pepper but then somebody behind her said treacle in a sleepy voice the queen shrieked out an order to collar the dormouse and executed it for some minutes the whole court was in confusion getting the dormouse turned out and by the time they had settled sat, settled down again the cook had disappeared It was all just like that, and the next witness was about to be read out. The white rabbit then read out, and at the top of his shrill little voice, the name Alice. 